England's players have arrived home following their defeat to Spain in the final of Euro 2024 yesterday. These were the scenes earlier as the England team, led by manager Gareth Southgate, stepped off their plane at Stansted Airport. Sky's Rachel Venables is at the airport for us. Glum faces all round, Rachel. Absolutely. And I think it was such a different experience, a different homecoming to the one that they would have dreamed of. Even the weather seemed to be miserable here. They pulled up to the tarmac, the plane touching down under glum grey skies, the rain pouring down. It would have been cold for them as they walked down those steps and went their separate ways instead of the party, the celebrations that, of course, would have been planned really to the ninth degree. They all got into separate cars, all of them with black tinted out windows and went their separate ways, driving one after the other out of the gates here at the private terminal in the business side off Stansted Airport instead of getting on the coach that would have taken them on to receptions with the great and good, no doubt the royal family, the prime minister and to potentially a boat open topped bus tour which had been talked about through central London. But without the trophy, of course, there was no party, there was no celebration and we saw those glum faces from the manager Gareth Southgate, from the players, from the surrounding staff. As we said, they went on their separate ways, some of them going home, others perhaps going on holiday. But it wasn't just the players who landed here at Stansted today. We've also been seeing fans, England fans, who were out in Germany, whether just for the final, just for the past couple of days, or some of them even for longer. And I've been speaking to those fans as they landed and went through the international arrivals gate at Stansted earlier, including one man who spent all four weeks out there. And this is a little of what he said to me earlier. It was a really good um, time. Um, not the result we wanted, um, obviously. Um, been at both finals in the last few years. Um, but, you know, it's still great memories made. You were at the stadium last night. What was it like? Talk me through those moments being in and amongst the, the rest of the fans. The atmosphere is just electric. I mean, no video or television can kind of replicate how how good the atmosphere was inside that stadium last night. Um, unfortunately, we just didn't do enough to get it across the line. Well, you could hear the dejection even in his voice uh, and all of the fans have been very similar, many of them exhausted, many of them fairly emotional. They're proud in their own ways, of course, of how far England went and I think it's fair to say that at the start of the tournament a few weeks ago when you think back to the group stages and really the battering they were getting uh, as far as the press and the public were concerned about the quality of play, many people wouldn't have even expected to see them get to the final. But of course, as they lined up at the Olympic Stadium in Berlin last night, many people... Those fans included, I think, amongst them would have really dared to hope and dared to dream. Many of the fans choosing to, who I've spoken to at Stansted today, to talk about Gareth Southgate's future. Some saying that he's done brilliantly two back-to-back -back Euros finals, which is much better than England had managed, of course, for many, many years. But others saying he's not good enough to take them across the line to actually bring home that final coveted silverware, particularly when you consider the strength of the players, the strength of the squad who, as we've said already, landed here at Stansted just a couple of hours ago and have headed off home, uh, really not the homecoming that they would have wanted. Not indeed. Rachel, thanks very much.